this is just a quick introduction to the gym pin and D-handle bar, which the supplement reviewer very kindly uh, offered to review on our behalf. Gym pin was started really out of necessity. Um, I was sick of maxing an adductor machine at a local gym. Um, I was doing the full stack for like 30 to 40 reps. And I didn't want to swap movement out because there was nothing I could really do to emulate the movement. Um, but I wanted to make it heavier so I could keep getting stronger in my desired, in that desired rep range. So we came up with a few prototypes, we designed something which we thought would work. Um, a few iterations later, and we thought we had something which was which was viable. Um, we then started selling it, we started getting messages from all over the world of people who were in the same problem. They said they were maxing tricep extension, you know, tricep pushdowns, hamstring curls, uh, leg extensions, chest presses, etc. etc. So we thought, right, okay, this, this could be interesting. Um, the name gym pin came about simply because it's a pin that you use in a gym, it's as simple as that. Um, and we then thought, what else can we do to expand the range? So we, we brought out the original gym pin in two sizes. We brought out the king pin when people said they needed to add four or even five plates to a doctor. So we made a longer version, which we call the king pin. We brought out the mini pin, which was um, which is mainly for um, adding incremental plates. So when the jumps in the stack are too large, say 10 kilos or five kilos, you can use a mini pin and you can add a um, 1.25 kilo or 2.5 kilo and you can again keep getting stronger. Um, the D-handle bar came about when we thought that we could do better than what was on the market at the minute. Um, our, our design means that you don't have to use specific carabiners. You can use any carabiners that are in the gym. Um, it's lightweight, it's incredibly strong. Um, it, it, I mean, we think it looks great. Um, and obviously it's incredibly versatile. So that was really the uh, the, the, the idea with the D-handle bar was that we, um, we thought we could do better than what, what else was on the market. Um, in terms of how to use them, the gym pin itself isn't designed to replace the machine's OEM pin. So when you've got your machine's pin all the way down the stack, you put the machine's pin in and then you put the gym pin halfway up or two thirds of the way up. Um, that means that say you had the gym pin at the bottom, it means that you have a 20 plate and it's not going to hit the bottom of the, uh, of the machine. So the gym pin always goes halfway up. Uh, the D-handle bar is fairly self-explanatory. Um, obviously you, you attach to the cable machine, then you attach your, um, your D handles or your tricep ropes or your or whatever, whatever the case is, attach them at your desired width. Um, and that was really, that is really the essence of jimping. We've always been wanting to produce things that firstly we would want to use. Um, we've always designed things out of necessity rather than, and, or necessity and curiosity really, rather than uh, wanting to keep up with anybody else. We don't really, not really interested in what other people are doing. Um, so that is us and that is what we shall continue to do. So um, we're very, very interested and excited to hear what the supplement review have to say about our products. Um, so over to you guys. Guys, welcome back to the supplement review. Now we are gonna be doing a little unboxing video here. I've just got home and I've got two things from the guys at Gym Pin and uh, I'm excited to see what they are. And they've also sent me through one to give away. So I know that some of you are gonna have the opportunity to win one of these for yourselves. And let's see what they've sent me. So the first of all, uh, they've got this box, which is the add more weight carefully, and it is the gym pin with their logo there. So let's have a look what you get inside. So I've gotta say, I do like the branded box. Good look. Uh, this is the eight millimeter gym pin. Now these are a little bit controversial. I've heard some people who own gyms say that they don't like people using these because it allows you to overload the machine. We are actually going to be talking to the guys from Gym Pin about Gym Pin etiquette, and they're gonna have a little section in the video so they'll be able to talk to you about how you should use this properly so that you don't damage equipment and how you um, can use this in a considerate way. Just one more thing. We do always suggest getting the gym owner's permission before using any of our gym pins on their equipment. Now on the end there, you've got the gym pin logo, which is really cool. And then that part goes into the machine. These retail at about 55 pounds each. They're available on Amazon and they're also available on Etsy and through their website as well. So I look forward to taking that down to the gym with me and giving that a go. There's not many machines I can actually full stack. So um, maybe I'll have to get one of the big boys to help me. And so what's in the big box? Now, the big box is the original D-Bar. Now. Because they sent me two, I've got the box set up nicely here. And here's one I prepared earlier. So this is a, a, a attachment primarily for the lat pull down machine with a number of holes drilled at regular intervals across the length of the bar. Now what this means is that you can now attach handles to the D-bar 
and then use it for a variety of different back exercises where you get to vary your grip. And I guess you can vary your grip position as well. So go from um, pronated to super pronated? Like this to like this, whatever the technical explanation for those is. Now these uh, bars retail depending on the length. Now and this is about 52 pounds. Now they have simply two. So when we drop the video for this, one of you guys is gonna have the opportunity to get your hands on one of these for free. Um, I will be putting this in my backpack and walking it down to the gym. So that's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be an interesting walk home, pretending to be a samurai. Um, but yeah, the quality of the workmanship on this is really nice. There's no sharp edges on it. It's been manufactured in a way that means that you can handle it nice and easily. You, again, you've got the logo on the front there and the logo on the back there, which is really nice. So I, again, uh, will have an opportunity to use this in the coming week, and then we'll be shooting a review video. It's a sterling more boss bit of kit with a big, big fucking G on it. Big G. Big G. It's got a, it's got a canny fucking bicep, I don't know. Uh, Put it on the forearm. Double-sided. Sword handle. Good for home defence. Fucking smash on in the teeth of that. I'm thinking of potential uses instead of actual uses. <laughs> Dan is a gym owner, do you know what that is? It's a, um, I don't know the technical name for it. No, what should I get in place? Daniel, I've got a strength shot. So you multi-grip. I would imagine for a lot of that or a row. That's what you could do for British Jersey, couldn't you? Use single handles on it and do triceps. Or even curls. It's quite cool to have variation on about lots of fucking variation on where you can have the handles. Because what I found is with a lot of the cable attachments, it's very one dimensional in that they only really suit one type of person using it. So if you've got somebody who's got a little bit more internal rotation or somebody with a little bit more external rotation, and it's a fixed bar, you're stuck. Whereas with this, you can work in the drawing. So quite a cool piece of kit actually. I'm assuming you're leaving it for me to keep, yeah. Supper review has gotten in touch with me and said that he's kind of doing a bit of a collab with Jim Pin and testing out some of their stuff, testing out the D handle bar specifically. He knows that this is something I've been using for a while and that I've spoken about a lot as well. So I first used one of these years ago, to be honest, in a random gym somewhere down south and absolutely loved it. Loved the versatility of it. I've used products that do a similar thing but none of them are the build quality of the Jim Pin. And then kind of every time I've been around random little gyms, and you can see one, I've always picked it up and used it because I truly think it is. It is such an awesome tool, it's a really, really versatile tool. Finally, a bit of bullet. God, now I've got one in my gym bag and I love it. I use it all the time. You know, if you follow me on my Instagram, I use this all the time. So, pop a carabiner through the top of there, hook that up to any kind of cable stack, or you can get crazy, put it on landmines and all sorts of stuff like that. And then you've got carabiners down here. I've got these attached to some D handles. You can attach it to ropes, you can attach it to whatever the hell you can think of. You can put it at any point, so you can go close grip, you can go wide grip. This is the 20 inch version of the D handle bar that I've got. This fits in my gym bag really nicely and it's versatile enough for me, but they've got ones that are even bigger. But yeah, fantastic, very, very versatile. Great for arm stuff. It's the fact that you can change the angles with everything here. So as you're curling in, you've got that, you've got that rotation, you've got the freedom. Um, really, really good for tricep pushdowns as well for arm stuff. Absolutely fantastic for back movements. Um, use this on a lat pull down. The, the length, you can fully, fully extend that lat and then get it down into that fully shortened position. Because you've got the freedom of the D handles, um, it will absolutely blow you up. I, I genuinely don't have a bad thing to say about it. Um, it's built like a rock. It's really, it's really intelligently designed. Um, so if you've got one thing that I only discovered about this actually a few weeks ago that I really, really like about it, that's your carabiner through the top here if you've got one axis point on the cable. However, if you've got two, you can actually just flip it and put it through these ones and then just flip the carabiners on this side, put them on there, and then you can mix it across however many different cable versions different cable version, different cable stacks as you want. So yeah, really, really good product and I'm a big fan of it. 
So I thought I'd give my kind of perspective on the gym pin handle. Now I've used it quite a few times. I've used it to row and I've used it for pull downs. Now the first thing to kind of note is the fact that it's actually a really light piece of equipment. From memory, it is a kilo and a half heavy. So it is something that you can just, you know, chuck in your gym bag. And especially if you kind of travel to different gyms and you just want to have a reliable um, handle to do pull downs and rows with, then this definitely is worth it. And I think probably the second thing kind of based off that is the quality of it. It's just a really good quality piece of kit. You're not going to have to, you know, replace this because it's not going to break. Um, it is is very sturdy. And obviously the most important thing about this handle is it doesn't matter how tall or how small you are. I'm 5'2". I train with Louis a lot and he's six foot. You can obviously attach your D handles um, for your pull downs or your rows as wide as you want so it just allows the kit to actually fit you rather than if you're a tall or a small person always having this battle of the kit doesn't actually fit me my mechanics um just don't kind of suit this kit so it really is worth the investment um and so far i've enjoyed using it every single time because as we all know that kind of free movement at the wrist it really does make a difference um with your rows and your pull downs